2015. It is a Friday and an ugly one to start the day. Looks like the futures are down about 12 and a half points right now, right to around that uh, 2088 level on the S&P 500 e-mini futures. So again, uh, 2088 per contract at the moment. You can see the futures have come off the lows. They were much, much lower around 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, trading down around that 20. Uh, 82 level so it's been a pretty ugly morning to say the least but nonetheless markets have come off the lows we'll see if they do slide uh, into the weekend but um, we do have a lot of action out here we just had some economic data the CPI was out uh, consumer price index you could check that out for yourself I really could care less about it we also have some pressure coming out of Europe today German DAX is down about 2% this morning but for trading purposes let's go right into the stocks that are moving first one we're going to start off today with is American Express they reported earnings last night stock right now is trading at $79.43 it closed at $80.91 um, a little bit of a short-term support level I see for FedEx would be somewhere around the $74 level and 60 cents. $74.60 would be pretty good support. There'll also uh, be a little bit of support around $75.50, $75 and a quarter. So right in that general range, if you take a look at a bigger time frame, you guys will see yourself. There's a lot of chart support there. I'm not sure we'll even see American Express trade down to that level. If American Express does rally, Watch for resistance around 82.40 today if it does even get up there. So I'm not sure that will happen, but either way, stock right now is just trading slightly lower than where it closed. Let's take a look at Schlumberger, though. This is having a pretty good move. Schlumberger closed at $91.89. It is gapping up to $94.33. They also had earnings. I will have gap resistance levels in the chat room at 9 a.m., so come on over, take a seven-day free trial to this one. Uh, we may be able to capture Schlumberger on the short side today. I have some real decent levels there for, worked out already for the stock. So Schlumberger is on our radar. We will be looking to play that one this morning. Another one on our radar is going to be Mattel. Mattel Inc., which is a toy manufacturer, toy maker, um, you're going to see the stock's trading right now at $27. It closed at $25.27. This is a pretty good move up for Mattel. We're going to have gap levels ready for this one to go as well uh, in the intraday stock chat room. So they'll be posted up at 9 a.m. So be prepared for that. Come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. Chat has been absolutely on fire. We've knocked the cover off the ball in 2015 so far. Come on over, join us, and uh, you'll see everything we're doing. Take a seven-day free trial, no obligation. Just see what it's all about. Let's take a look at AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. And what you're going to see here is that the stock is trading at $2.58, closed at $2.87. The only support level I really see for this one is down around $2.45. So again, be very, very careful with this. AMD um, really has been a, a struggling equity for quite some time and I don't really see things changing all that much this morning all right let's go to service now ticker symbol is NOW anybody that attended the uh, gap webinar last night knows we covered this one um, but I will have gap levels for this stock it closed at $82.84 this uh, last night it is now trading at $75 it did trade uh, into the 68 handle uh, after the closing bell yesterday. So this is one that could be uh, pretty volatile. Uh, I will be looking at it uh, once the opening bell rings. Um, a key level here right now, mathematically speaking, is $74.75. So it's really holding this area here. Once that breaks, though, this thing, the dam can break open. This can come back down to 68 rather quickly. So be very, very careful with this equity this morning, and we'll see how it plays out. Let's take a look at General Electric. Usually not a big mover. Today, the stock is trading at $27.43. It closed at $27.28. There's still a lot of resistance around the $28 level, so I, I don't think there's a whole lot of upside from here either way. Again, they did report earnings, I believe, this morning. Let's take a look at Honeywell, another company that reported earnings before the bell today. Uh, right now, they're trading at 103.56. Stock closed at 103.92. Support level I have for Honeywell, and this is mathematical. This is not using the gap formulas or the gap technique. Uh, is 101.64. So if the stock gets down to 101.64, you can look for a little bit of a scalp there. A level that I really love for Honeywell, and I don't know if we're going to see this today, would be a level around 95 and a quarter. 
95 and a quarter, I would be involved in Honeywell on the long side with both hands. Uh, the next one I'm looking at right here uh, today is going to be Seagate. STX is the ticker symbol. And what you're going to see here for Seagate Technologies is that stock is trading at around 55.50, closed at 55.95. Um, there's not a lot we're going to do with this one. Uh, we're going to look at it once the opening bell rings. It's a stock that we trade very, very often in the chat room. Uh, we're going to see where it, where it trades, what kind of pattern we get, and maybe we'll play it there. There does look like there is some, uh, there does appear to be some support at 54.10. So we'll see if it gets there. Uh, but there's not much we're going to do with it at the moment until the opening bell rings. Next one I'm going to look at is Reynolds. RAI is the ticker symbol. Uh, Reynolds American. Uh, they were supposed to merge with Loriard. They did not. Right now, the stock is trading at $75.15. There's very good resistance intraday at $77. Bucks. So keep that on the radar. Again, this is a stock that's been in the news a lot lately. Uh, looks like uh, the Justice Department. Uh, what, what, what the FTC did not allow the merger to go through yet. So if a merger goes through, the stock could see more of a pop to the upside. So be a little bit careful on the short side. Right now I'm showing 77 as good intraday resistance. Let's take a look at Manitowic, MTW. Uh, what you're going to see here is stock is trading at $20.49. closed at $21.76. So this is one that's on my radar today. Once the opening bell rings, there's not much we're going to do with it at the moment. I worked out gap levels for it, but they're much, much lower. So I'm not even going to bother to give them out right now. Um, but if, if the stock does come in play and we need them, I will talk about them. Stock you want to keep on your radar, at least for the opening bell, is going to be Raytheon. They did receive a $2 billion uh, contract from the government for some missiles. Um, not sure what's going to do, what this thing's going to do. This is exactly where it closed, uh, 108.93. So it's not trading yet, but um, that's a good little... Um, <clears throat> That's a good little contract that they got, so keep this on the radar. This could be a mover to the upside. All right, let's shift our attention right now to gold futures, which are trading up about four dollars and sixty cents to twelve oh two, uh, twelve hundred and two dollars and sixty cents an ounce. Let's take a look at the GLD this morning. GLD is trading at around one fifteen oh three, so it has come in. Uh, basically, this is where it closed yesterday, so we're not really seeing much movement on the GLD this morning. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil is trading up. Oh, excuse me, down 39 cents to $57.73 an ounce. Let's go over to the USO, and what you'll see here is that the USO right now is trading at 1983. Oil is a very, very tough trade at this stage of the game, but the weaker dollar um, could be positive for oil. Right now, the dollar has been all over the map. If you take a look here, the dollar is getting a little bit of a spike, so that is... Um, that is definitely uh, going to put some pressure on crude oil a little bit if the dollar does move higher. So the dollar affects oil, weather affects oil, and obviously geopolitical events in the Middle East affect oil as well. So keep that on the radar. We'll see how it goes. But again, oil is a very, very tough trade at this point in time. Futures, once again, are down 12 and 3 quarter points on the S&P 500 E-minis. We'll see how this market plays out today. It is a Friday. 2015 has been filled with a ton of down Fridays, big down Fridays. Uh, so far, more than 2014. 2014 had about five big down Fridays throughout the entire year. So far, I think we have seven or eight big down Fridays in 2015. So keep that on the radar. This is where we stand. Uh, but it should be a good trading day. We've got good volatility out here, and that's what makes money. With that being said, everybody have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.